eyes are her priority. And she's a perfectionist. This took me months to learn. I was terrible at this part. She's passionate. I wanted to seal the edge so that the juices didn't all fall out of the out of the sides. You know, you want to seal the top to the bottom. And it looks pretty. She's a performer. And now to make a pie with a heart in the middle. She's Pizzi. That was my nickname as a kid. I was Pizzi. My mother just made it up. Pizzi, a.k.a. Renee McLeod, is the owner and baker at Somerville's Pizzi's Pies. I adore pie. I always have. I've always been a pie versus cake. It's always been pie for me, it, you know, even as a, as a kid. She remembers her seven-year-old self getting messy as she learned from her mom and grandmother. I was a help because I could peel apples. She took a leap later in life. With no business experience, she left her job at Whole Foods and opened her Beacon Street shop in 2003. I had no idea what I was in for. I didn't realize that I'd have to get up so early. It's um, heavy lifting, but it's not hard. It's just you got to really keep your back in shape. As for her labors of love, this is our roasted pumpkin pie. Pumpkins, brown sugar, some spices, a little bit of evaporated milk and whole milk. It's delicious. This is our blueberry pie, and it's wild Maine blueberries, a little tiny bit of cloves, and some sugar and lemon. The pecan pie, and it's just roasted sweet potatoes in the bottom with the pecan pie mixture on top. And this one is our apple pie. About three pounds of apples go into this creation. It's a top seller. Pizzi says the reason is simple. Apple pie is the ultimate comfort food. Everyone seems to think pie is comforting. I think it's comforting. I love everything about it. I love every day at work. It's not like work. It's like I get up in the morning and I go, I get to make pie today. It takes them back. It takes them home. It makes them think of simple times. It makes them think of happy times and they taste good. Bill Fitzgerald owns Man Orchard in Methuen, where apples are the family business. We're doing it all, really, I mean, growing the apples. I like the fact that we can control what apples go into the pies. It can be challenging to make sure that you have the right apple at the right time to go into the pie. But I'll tell you, it's always going to be a darn good apple pie. The pie recipe comes from Ruth, Bill's mother. My mother, honestly, <laughs> Ma, you're going <laughs> to love me for this one, but she was, uh, she was an okay cook. But boy, she could make a mean apple pie. So it was a no-brainer to add Ruth's pies to the orchard business. Using this very bowl back in the 50s, Ruth baked pies in her own kitchen. Today, the operation is more complex and demand keeps growing. I know for Thanksgiving, we sell upwards of 30,000 pies. Over the course of the year, it's well over 100,000 pies. We can take it over there. Bill runs the business with his children. He says that's the most rewarding and challenging part of his job. Yeah, I have to bite my tongue, but I'll tell you, you know, what can be better? What can be better than watching your own kids succeed, watching your own kids grow up? And does he ever get sick of pie? God, no, no. <laughs> As you can probably tell, I love pie. <laughs>